early final. Few of you? It was a pretty good preview for next year because your resolution is resolved. The needs of the public ought to be valued above private property rights. All right, we're getting down to uh, just a few more short announcements. Um, one of the things that the board works very hard at each year is, is to try to find a new location or a different location for the next night talk. But I want to express my appreciation again for such an awesome location that we had this year. Let's give you a round of So next year's location, and I'm speaking on behalf of the board. I think that transparency is a key part of the store process, and I thought it might be worth just a little bit of our time to understand the process that happens to find a place just like Drury or something similar before we announce next year's location. The process that we go through. Each year, a call goes out to search locations for future locations. Once locations are identified, then we spend a discovery period reaching out to locations using requirements that we need of this facility. The data, really the, the big picture of what we need, and I'm going to challenge each one of you to start helping us down the road. We need 125 competition rooms. We need about 9 or 10 days availability, somewhere between the middle of May and the middle of June. A facility that is affordable for attendees. The last two years we've had great affordability for facilities. We can tell you that the cost escalates significantly when we start looking at lots of different facilities. Drury wanted us and we thank them for their hospitality. In the tournament location, <laughs> as you well know, the tournament location in Drury was so kind, anything they had was ours. So, it's the largest budget item that we have to do when we start thinking about what we're going to do as far as, as you know, how, what's it going to be as far as registration fees. We are trying to keep it as affordable as possible for each and every person that wants to come. So, it's the largest budget items and it does impact. We are attempting to move this tournament across the country. It's surprisingly difficult. Some places in the U.S. have more expensive real estate, right, than others, and this impacts facility costs. Each year, we start with 10 to 15 leads, which we did this year. Then we check for size and price, and the community matters, too. Springfield Area Speech and Debaters, for example, and the Convention and Visitors Bureau here in Springfield have done much to support this tournament. So, again, I have the pleasure of announcing next year's location. Is the video ready?
and we're not ashamed of the gospel. The university is a place that should seek truth, um, no matter what the discipline is. And so um, all truth is God's truth, and it's great that a university can be dedicated to being grounded in the search for it. When we seek truth, whether it's science, whether it's art, uh, there are truths that are there, inherent, and God has made it so. One of the things that makes the Union different from other places is that uh, the Christian faith is not just something in the background, it, even if sincere, in the background, uh, but it's at the forefront of who you are. I would have to say that my college days on campus were some of the best days of my life. If you spend time at Union, you'll see that you've got a genuine community. You have people that love you, that care for you, that respect you as an individual, that want to see you grow, they want everyone to succeed. Going into Harvard Law School, I was um, a graduate this past May. I felt very well equipped from the rigorous training I'd gotten at Union, and also from a, um, a spiritual level to evaluate the things that I was learning. One of the ways that Union helped prepare me for Duke was the excellent faculty. There were supportive professors there that more than giving me mathematics and physics knowledge, which they most certainly did, they also supported me and uh, believed that I could go on and do this. We were able actually to take young people, mold them, shape them into who God would have them to be using the resources, the time, the talents, the gifts that God has poured into them. So we're able to shape them and put them out there where the rubber really meets the road. Union is doing a very good job of preparing me for whatever I want to do later in life, especially with my music degree, because there's a bunch of different paths I could take. I just want to work with kids in some way. Union is preparing me for whatever God calls me to do. When I think about all the, all the options and opportunities that are afforded to you, what I want you to hear me say is that this is an incredible opportunity. Union is a place where you can grow and develop, where you can excel in your academics, where you can be well prepared for what God is calling you to do, and where you can do that in a place that loves Christ and lives high Christ and helps you grow and mature into the person that God has called you to be. If you want an incredible, transformative education experience, join us at Union University. We're so excited. You'll be hearing a lot of details about it. I do want to share with you a little bit. We already have our tournament director for not only next year, but we've already named our tournament directors for 2018. I think I'll do the 18 first, and then I'm going to do the 17. So, 2018. Is this any indication? Great, it's Julie Smith, 2018. And 2017, from our Stowe Board, Melray Ames and Angela Childress. We've already started working on team leads for next year. I can tell you, we have some of the same leads we had this year in several things. It's, it's going to be jam-packed. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be uplifting. We can't hardly wait. Although I need to go home for a day or two. <laughs> you know, I've got lots of stories I can tell you about home. It's pretty funny. But anyway, we, we enjoy it so much. Um, I think we have some comments now from Mel Ray and Angela, and maybe a special presentation before we close. Thank you.
we could not have had this tournament without Joanne and her faithfulness and prayer. And she, she just do it all. But we have a special gift for Joanne that is on the board. And so I'll just present this on behalf of Mark and the entire board. And then we want her to take some time away, maybe with her husband or some sushi. She loves sushi. <laughs>
but because he knew we would be with each other to uplift one another in prayer and to minister to one another. You've been a blessing to me and I will never forget this journey that we've been on together. Tonight, I take off my tournament director badge one last time. <laughs> I will keep this badge as a reminder of the journey God put me on this past year. As all of you go back to your hotel tonight and you take off your Night Talk 2016 name badges for the last time, I pray it will be a reminder of the journey God put you on this past year for Christ. He's made everything good in his perfect time for his perfect purpose. May we all continue training and running for Christ, especially in our desire to be one with Him, because He is precious. Thank you all.
Okay, we'll change, we'll change that. We'll change that for our party because they were close at twelve. Applebee's closer to the to, to, to the to the old Chicago one, okay? Oh, okay. So the Applebee's that's I put the address there.